Goes sideline. Caught. Touchdown, Cowboy. Mayfield winds up down the field. Hollywood. Touchdown. Rudolph looking. Rudolph in the end zone. Touchdown. Mayfield delivers and intercepted. Oklahoma and even more. Sermon still on the move. Sermon to the corner. Touchdown, Sooners. Bedlam, one of the greatest sports rivalries in all of college football. A game that always feels like it comes down to the wire, whether it be for a spot in the conference championship or for pride, is coming to an end. It is one of my favorite games to watch year in and year out. Yet, due to conference realignment, this may end the 118-year rivalry. But can we save it? This is the history of Bedlam. The rivalry that needs to be saved. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I am planning to release multiple videos a week this season. Also, let me know what your favorite rivalry game is in the comment section below. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State are both founding members of the Big 8 and later the Big 12 Conference. They are schools separated by 93 miles and are just under two hours away from each other. It is a rivalry that runs deep in all their sports, but especially in football. Oklahoma began playing football in 1895 and has been winning championships since nearly the beginning. They have won seven claimed national titles and have 10 unclaimed national titles. Their biggest rivals are Oklahoma State, Nebraska, and Texas. They rose to dominance under Bud Wilkinson, Barry Switzer, and Bob Stoops, and are now led by head coach Brent Venables. Venables served as an assistant under Stoops for almost a decade. Their all-time record as a program is 941, 338, and 53 at the time of recording. Oklahoma State, on the other hand, originally known as Oklahoma A&M, began playing football in 1901 and has one claimed national title and one unclaimed national title. Their biggest rivals are Oklahoma and Tulsa. Pat Jones coached Barry Sanders and Mike Gundy during the 80s, and the Cowboys are now led by their school's all-time winningest coach and former quarterback Mike Gundy. Gundy has been the coach of Oklahoma State since 2005 and joined the staff in 2001. He is from Oklahoma, and his Oklahoma State ties run deep. He bleeds orange and black. Oklahoma State has an all-time record of 630, 570, and 49 at the time of recording. So, those are our players, but what is the history behind the rivalry? Why should you care? The name given to Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State is Bedlam, which according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, is defined as a place, scene, or state of uproar or confusion. The term Bedlam actually first started due to both schools having very prestigious wrestling teams and due to the intense in-state rivalry, it usually brought a very crazy crowd to their matches. The schools first met in 1900 during a track and field meet, but played their first football game in 1904. The matchup was held at Island Park in Guthrie, Oklahoma during a very cold and windy day. One story that comes from the game is that at one point, the Oklahoma A&M Aggies were punting. The wind carried the ball backwards behind the kicker. The ball rolled down the hill into the half-frozen creek. Since a touchdown was at stake, members of both teams dove into the icy water to recover the ball. A member of the OU team came out with the ball and downed it for a touchdown. OU won the first matchup 75 to nothing. This would be Oklahoma's largest margin of victory in the series, while Oklahoma State's largest margin of victory came in 1945 when they won 47 to nothing. What makes this rivalry so special is the fact that they have been playing uninterrupted since 1910. Throughout its history, there has been some controversy. In 2007, author Steve Budden claimed the 1954 game was fixed by mobsters. They allegedly had cooks slip laxatives into soup consumed by the Oklahoma players. Oklahoma was 20-point favorites, but only won 14 and nothing. This claim has since been disputed as many people involved do not recall this occurring. From 1946 to 1964, Oklahoma dominated the rivalry, winning 19 straight matchups by an average margin of 27 points. Oklahoma State would win in 65 and 66, and has won back-to-back matchups five times throughout the series, but has never gone on a streak greater than that. 
Since 2000, Oklahoma has beaten Oklahoma State 18 times in the last 23 matchups. Oklahoma currently holds a 91-19-7 series lead over Oklahoma State, and the last tie came in 1992. Currently, Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy is just 3-15 against Oklahoma and went 0-4 while he was quarterback there years ago. Going into this year, Gundy has won 67% of his games, with the OU rivalry being a thorn in his side. When it was announced that Oklahoma was leaving for the SEC, Gundy said during Big 12 Media Day, the new commissioner, I mean honestly, if I was him, I wouldn't let Oklahoma and Texas in any business meetings. I say that jokingly, but I mean if you're strategically in a business meeting, if it's two cell phone companies, I don't want someone from their company in a meeting with my company. This added fuel to an already burning fire on whether the rivalry would continue next year. It looks extremely unlikely that this rivalry will continue as Oklahoma State views Oklahoma as an enemy for leaving the Big 12 the way they did for the SEC. Gundy said, I'm a very traditionalist when it comes to conference rivalry games and such. The Bedlam game is over because Oklahoma chose to leave the Big 12, period. It's got nothing to do with Oklahoma State. Do I like that? No. Do I like the conference having been broken up in the past? No. No, I don't. But I also know what we have to control, what we can control, which is conference realignment. It's probably still going on. Wherever we all end up and whatever schedule they give us to play, we all play it and do the best we can. I think it's extremely disrespectful to the fans to end this rivalry because of the two teams playing in different conferences. Gundy went on to say, We have nine conference games scheduled, and then we have, I think, through 15 years, we're scheduled all the way up, and we're full for the most part, and we have Power 5 teams scheduled. I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. Oklahoma State is not going to change what we do because Oklahoma chose to go to the SEC. They need to change what they do because they're the ones that made their minds up to go to the SEC. The SEC will play eight conference games in 2024, and that may change after that, while the Big 12 will play nine games. Gundy has been very outspoken how he said the rivalry is going to end and how there is nothing they can do. While I get Oklahoma State is pissed how the SEC stuff happened, if this rivalry truly matters like everyone says it does, then it takes two to tango and you make it work. You make it work for college football history, you make it work because it's an amazing out-of-conference game, and you make it work for the fans especially. If you truly care about the fans, then you figure a way to play this game. This is a game that is too special to lose. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State fans, call your athletic directors and administrators out and tell them to figure it out. This game does not have to end if we as fans don't want it to end. I'm an outsider who just truly loves this rivalry, and I'm mad that it's ending. I could only imagine how you all feel who are fans of this series. Stop pointing fingers at each other and make the adults whose jobs it is to schedule these games figure a way to keep it going. Don't throw 118 years of history away because of high school pettiness. My God. Think of 1988. Think of 2014 or 2017. But if it's truly over, let's grab our popcorn and enjoy this amazing rivalry on November 4th. I personally am sad I won't be in the stands for this game, but I will be watching at home. But what do you think? Does Oklahoma and Oklahoma State need to figure out a way to save this rivalry? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more college football content. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.